There are several large white flowered umbelliferae, members of the carrot family, that grow in wet places. Uh, one of them is extremely poisonous, but another species merits a high place in the list of plants that are useful. So it's a, it's a good thing to get to know what the differences between them are and what they look like. Uh, this is Angelica, which is the useful plant. Uh, you can see that the, the, the umbel is characteristically domed. If we look more closely at the individual flowers, uh, there's no real difference between the flowers in the centre and those around the edges, uh, which is the case in quite a number of, uh, of common large umbellifers such as wild carrot or hogweed. Nectar uh, is produced in abundance at the top of the ovaries and they, the, the flowers are visited by a wide variety of insects uh, in numbers that few other plants can match, uh, particularly uh, flies, uh, bees and, 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 and beetles. Now if we look at the stamens uh, you can see, particularly if you view the inflorescence from the side, you can see that the stamens stand like little lamp posts, uh, one above each individual flower. The five stamens mature successively, only uh, one at a time. Uh, so that uh, the insects that visit the flowers in such numbers uh, cannot avoid being liberally dusted with pollen as they move around uh, the dome of the inflorescence. The smooth dark stems of Angelica might be mistaken for hemlock, but the two plants grow in completely different places and as you can see they are plants of quite different stature. However, the water dropworts, including the deadly poisonous hemlock water dropwort, do grow in similar places to Angelica. Uh, and the most reliable way perhaps to tell the difference between them is to look closely at the fruits. This is Angelica, the fruits of Angelica, uh, young fruits, not fully ripe yet, but if you look close and particularly if you look at them with a hand lens you can see that the fruits are round, they're flattened, and each has four well-developed wings or flanges at the four edges in pairs because it's somewhat flattened. In the water dropworts, on the other hand, if we look at the fruits here, you can see that they are cylindrical. They're not flattened and they don't have those little wings or flanges. What they do have are two prominent stigmas, like two little horns sticking up above the flower, surrounded by what remains of the sepals. The bitter aromatic juice of Angelica was highly esteemed for its curative properties, although the angelic ring of the name Angelica belongs more properly to uh, the closely related Angelica archangelica. This species, our species here, is Angelica sylvestris. You may be interested to know that the distinctive taste of chartreuse and benedictine is due in large measure to that bitter aromatic juice of Angelica.